hi everyone welcome back to this channel today we are going to look at another tutorial so before we start i would like to ask you to subscribe if you haven't or if you are new here please click on the notification button in order to to be notified every time a new video is uploaded do not forget to share and like the video as well as to comment thank you let's get into today's business so as you can see on the screen we have a 3d model a bracket and three different hues so i would prefer to go with the, the top view to make first of all the rectangle and continue with the rest and for this tutorial it's also important to check where the origin is for this um for this exercise you can download it for free and the link is provided in the description below okay let's go back to solidworks so because i decided to work with the top view i'm going to select the top plane select the top plane and corner rectangle the given dimensions are 145 millimeters Hundred and forty five millimeters, okay, and this other side is seventy five millimeters. So after this, you are going to extrude it by using the extruded boss base. And you can check the height of our, uh, our design is 50 millimeters. So we are going to extrude it uh, up to 50 millimeters. Okay. Do not forget to save your work because it's very important. So the second step is going to be uh, to make this shape the front view. I'm going to select okay now I have to make this shape here and put all the dimensions so you can check the dimensions Okay, we have this side.
after this i have to put the dimensions so all the dimensions are provided you can check them so uh here we have 15 millimeters Fifteen millimeters. Okay, and then from uh, here to here, the dimension is also given as fifteen millimeters. Then after that, this dimension here is 50 millimeters. So as you can see, this space here is half 12.5 millimeters. okay and then for this uh, i'm just going to add some relation so i can decide to put the dimension this side so as long as we have relations i'm, ju I'm just going to click uh, control select and press control and then select this other line and come here and click equal right so uh, instead of putting the dimensions twice all right so the distance here is is 25 yeah which is given already and here we have 37 Here we have 37 millimeters. Good. So let's check this distance here. So it's good. So the distance be uh, from here to here. Okay, it's my dimension from here to here it's 10 all right then after that so this the height here is 15 millimeters fifteen millimeters right 
so we just have to make it equal to this one as you can see this side and the, and this other side is not equal so just have to select this line control press control and select this other line not not the dot i can restart the process uh, select this line control and select this other line and then make it equal so right and then the distance here is provided as 46 millimeters so from here to here we have 46 millimeters all right so as you can see the sketch is fully defined this sketch is fully defined so we are looking for uh, this shape that means we have to remove this part this part has to be removed and this other part has to be removed so that means uh, I closed this one already that means I, I have to close this part so that uh, I can have the possibility to remove it so I have to close it so that I can cut it great now I can use the extrude cut let's see here select this one and select this one and uh, select here true all right okay this is the shape and the last step is to the last step is to make this part this side so we are just going to this to sketch this one and then cut it or remove it remove the those other part all right so select this side and make this sketch great so before i put the dimensions i just have to close these two parts because these two parts are the one that i'm going to remove in order for me to get this shape so let me just close and then put the dimension after that okay after this I'm going to put the dimensions so from here to here it it is 10 millimeters
great. So to make this side to be equal to this one, I'm just going to add the relation. So let me just put okay the dimension from here to here it's 15 millimeters Alright, so what I have to do now is to come, select this line, control, and this one, make it equal. Good. Then after that, come here, not the dot, but the line, so this line, control, and this line, and select equal. So as you can see, the sketch is fully defined. After that, I'm going to Features and click on Extruded Cut. Sorry, Extruded Cut. Okay, let me select this one. And select these two small triangles and true all and click ok that's it so you can check even where the origin is the origin is here that means this sketch in SOLIDWORKS is the same as this one. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question or suggestion, you can send an email to lenaskill77 at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe, like the video, click on the notification button, and comment. Thank you so much. Bye.